Hello and welcome. Let's talk about Potts fracture. So, what does it mean by Potts fracture? Potts fracture, also known as Potts syndrome and Duputrian fracture, is a term loosely applied to a variety of the bimalleolar ankle fractures. It is a type of fracture that is characterized by a break in one or more bony prominences on the sides of the ankle known as malleoli, also known as broken ankle, ankle fracture and malleolar fracture. Now this is a picture showing the malleolar fracture and this is a x-ray showing bimalleolar fracture and also known as Potts fracture. Now mechanism. The injury is caused by a combined abduction external rotation from an eversion force. This action strains the sturdy material known as delta ligament of the ankle often tearing off the medial malleolus due to its strong attachment. The talus then moves laterally shearing off the lateral malleolus or more commonly breaking the fibula superior to the tibiofibular syndesmosis. If the tibia is carried anteriorly, the posterior margin of the distal end of the tibia is also sheared off by the talus. A fractured fibula in addition to detaching the medial malleolus will tear the tibiofibular syndesmosis. The combined fracture of the medial malleolus, lateral malleolus and the posterior margin of the distal end of the tibia is known as a trimalleolar fracture. Now, example. An example of a sports fracture will be in a sports tackling injury. The player receives a blow to the outside of the ankle, causing the ankle to roll inwards so that the sole of the foot faces laterally. This damages the ligaments on the inside of the ankle and fractures the fibula at the point of the contact, usually just above the tibia fibular syndesmosis. Now, clinical features. The pain which is of sudden onset sharp intense over the lower leg or ankle, swelling and bruising, crepitus, reduced ROM, inability to extend and deformity. Now diagnosis. There is a history of twisting injury, road traffic accident, clinical features and radiological examination shows fracture line of the medial or lateral malleolus, tibiofibular syndesmosis or lateral subluxation of the talus and posterior subluxation of talus. Now treatment. The basic principle of of treatment is the achievement of anatomical reconstruction of ankle so as to regain good function and minimize possibility of osteoarthritis developing later. For stable injuries which are not displaced, the below knee plaster cast for 3 to 6 weeks can be given, but in case of unstable injuries which are displaced, close reduction and ORIF can be given. End of the topic.